One of the special things about athletes from our area is they always come back. Now, whether it's a camp or supporting their former school or just showing face. And the same thing can be said for this former Falcon. 2018 saw Jensen Beach Falcon Lion Richardson drafted to the Cincinnati Reds in the second round. But his MLB journey has been rattled with the pandemic and injuries that has now led him here, rehabbing his Tommy John injury with the Daytona Tortugas. It's not all bad, though, because it gave the opportunity for his former high school team to catch him in action against the St. Lucie Mets. Really unbelievable. What, a, what an opportunity for his, us to get to see him. When his dad came and told me what the plan was with him and that he'd be here and uh, pitching for Daytona, I was like, oh, awesome. Daytona's not far. I can't wait to go up. And he's like, no, their first game is against the Mets. It's in Port St. Lucie. It's right here. And I was, I was just like, oh, my, what, the stars align. Cheering him on from the stands has been in the cards for these coaches for years as they knew Richardson had that it factor. I remember when he was a freshman, uh, Coach Cook, who's the head coach, said, wait till you come out and see this freshman. He's going to be special. Um, and I remember going out there and going, well, this kid has something I've never seen. He was so unbelievably special, even as a freshman with us. He pitched in the regional semifinal, I told you, down in Pembroke Pines, won that start for us as a freshman. Richardson was the second pitcher drafted from the Jensen Beach baseball team in a two-year span. Braden Ogle was the first in 2016, which has been great for this program's growth. In an eight-year span, I've had two guys, pitchers, taken in the top four rounds. And, you know, both of them are in professional organizations right now. You know, Braden with the Pirates and Lyon with the Reds. It helps our program. You know, uh, especially locally, a lot of kids, they want to come and they want to play for our program because of these type of things. He closed out his time in Port St. Lucie with three shutout innings, one hit allowed, and seven strikeouts. Sounds like Jensen Beach coached him well, and his former teammates are now motivated. Most of, if not all of them, won't, won't get here because it's just so unique and special, you know, to be a major leaguer or to be a professional baseball player, but they see that it can happen for him, and everybody wants to dream. Who am I to tell them it's not, you know what I mean?